Hi, and welcome to Cmotion's Visual 3D Tutorials. This particular tutorial simply shows an example of a typical workflow in Visual 3D. Detailed video tutorials describing each of the following steps can be found on our YouTube channel. The text-based tutorials can also be found on our wiki. In this case, the model template and report template have already been created and now only need to be loaded within the software. Once you've launched Visual 3D, you can load your model by selecting Hybrid Model from C3D file in the Create sub-menu found under the Model menu. Then simply select the Static Trials C3D file and click Open. The model template can now be applied to the static trial. To load the model template, select Apply Model Template found under the Model menu. Select the correct MDH file and click Open. The model template includes the definition of each segment's coordinate system and corresponding tracking markers. It also includes the subject data and metrics such as mass and height. Movement trials can now be loaded into the workspace. Select the correct movement files and click open. Once the files have been loaded into the workspace, simple filtering can be quickly applied to the files. Expand the target folder, right click on the original subfolder to access the processing options. In this example, interpolation and a low pass filter is applied to the target signals. Each individual trial can be viewed by selecting it in the active file box. In order to compute model based data, it is necessary to assign the model to the motion files. To do that, select Assign Model to Motion Files found under the Model menu, and select the correct motion files to be associated with the model. Multiple movement files can be assigned to a model, but only one model can be assigned to each movement file. Also note that the force plate vector is now blue, indicating that the force is now assigned to a segment. Force assignments should be verified before applying the automatic gate event, because gate events are actually based on the force assignments. Once force assignments have been verified, it is possible to run the automatic gate event to identify the heel strikes and toe off as well as force plate contacts throughout the trials. We can now go in the Reports tab and apply our report template previously created. Select the correct RGT file and click Open. Because the model-based items stored in the Recalc pipeline are saved within the report template, the graphs are automatically populated when the report is loaded. And this concludes the typical processing session video tutorial. Thank you for watching.